All right, here we go. This is math one. Uh, we're in the red math one textbook. We're talking about sections 1.2, and we're also going to talk about 1.3 today. Uh, 1.2 is functions, uh, and also we're going to talk about domain and range. First thing I need to know, uh, we need to know is, is what is a function? Okay, what is the definition of a function? Uh, and some people say the definition of a function uh, is when no x repeats. Okay, you don't have any repeating inputs. But to me, that's not a very good definition. Okay, the definition that I like uh, is that a function has. For every <clears throat> input, there is exactly one unique output. Okay, and I know that's got some big words in it. I'll explain some of that uh, in detail. But for every input, there is exactly one unique output. Okay, that is the basic definition uh, of a function. First question on the test is going to give you a t-chart or to give you a series of points and it'll say, is it a function? Okay, the answer is yes or no. So let's look at an example. Here's an example written as a t-chart. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You've got four points here. Okay, your x's are your inputs. Okay, your y's are your outputs. Uh, 100 years ago, when I was in Algebra 2, uh, Coach Pat Collins taught me functions, okay? And on his board, he had a poster. I don't know where he got it. I wish I could get it. But the poster kind of looked like this, okay? It kind of looked like a jack-in-the-box, okay? And it had a slide on top, and it had an input, okay? Meaning, here's the function, f of x, right? And we're putting in input. We turn the crank, meaning we do whatever the function is, let's just say x squared plus 1 or you know, 3x minus 2, whatever the function is, and then out, instead of candy, coming out of it, okay, was the output, the y. And I still think of this, uh, years and years later, I still think of that function box every single time I have to explain what a function is. You put in the input, you turn the crank, meaning you do whatever it says to do, right? And then you have an output, okay? Then something comes out. So we stuck in one, five came out. We stuck in two, six came out. We stuck in three, seven came out. We stuck in four, eight came out. This is the definition of a function, okay? Now, let's start talking about how we can change that. If I do two and I say six, okay, is it still a function? Yes or no? Yes, it is. See, this is where people mess up. They see two went in and I got six, and they see another two and they start, oh, not a function. And that's wrong. It is still a function. Look at our definition. For every input, there's exactly one unique output, meaning I stuck in two and six came out. I did it again, I stuck in two and six came out again. If I stick in three and seven comes out, I'm okay. Okay? Let me erase this. Another example when people think that it's no longer a function is if I do this. If I say 5, 8, is it now a function? Yes, it is. I would be writing this down. It is still a function now. Okay, it doesn't say anything about the outputs repeat. 4 can be tagged to 8, and 5 can be tagged to 8 all day long. That's okay. Okay, it is still a function. Can you, can somebody, give me an example of a point that I could add that would make it not a function? If I stuck in 4 and I got 3, then it would no longer be a function, okay? Because I stuck the same input, right? I put 4 in, turn the crank, 8 came out. I put 4 in, I turn the crank, 3 came out. So it is no longer a function. This makes it not a function. 
So the first, test, first question on the test is going to say, is it a function? It can be listed out like a t-chart like this, okay? Or it could be listed like this, 1, 0, uh, 2, 5, 6, 7, and 8, 10. Are these four points a function, yes or no? Yes. Yes, they are. All right, how about now? Yes. A function now? Yes. Still a function, okay? How about now? Yes. Still a function, right? I stuck in two, turn the crank, five came out. I stuck in two, turn the crank, five came out. Okay, how about now? No. No longer a function, why? This is a we have a different output. Stuck in two, turn the crank, or sorry, stuck in six, turn the crank, seven came out. I just stuck in six, turn the crank, 11 came out. Makes it not, no longer a function. Okay, questions on this? Okay, very straightforward. You need to know what is a function and what is not a function. Can I erase this? Everybody got the definition? Okay, very good. All right, now, I'm going to leave this T chart up here. Now, let's talk about domain and range. For another name for the input or for the x value is domain. Same thing for range. Another name or the output is the range. So another question that you might have on a test might be say list the domain. Okay, and you need to know how to do that. Put a D or put domain, but the important thing is it's inset notation. Okay? Kayla, are you copying this down? You should have set notation, okay? Then you list out your points. Okay, I'm going to erase this so that we're back to a function. Our, our points, one, two, three, four, all I have to do is list those out, one, two, three, and four, and then put the curly brackets. I'm not real specific on these curly brackets. They don't have to be perfect, but it has to be a curly bracket, okay? That's set notation. Write that down put in my notes. Make sure it's in set notation. I'm doing it on time. Set notation. Same thing for the range. It needs to be in set notation. Let me change this up a little bit. Let me put a six right here. Got five, six, six, eight. The big question is, do you have to write the six down twice? And the answer is no. You can put it twice or you can put it once. It's up to you really. In the book, they're going to say 5, 6, and 8. Even though it's four numbers and 6 is in there twice, they're just going to have it in there three, just one time. They're going to say 5, 6, and 8. Okay? So if a number repeats for some reason, there's no, re no need to write it down twice. Okay? So first type question is going to be, is it a function, yes or no? Okay? So you've got a bitty bitty shot. Okay? You know whether or not it is a function, whether it's not second type question is going to be identify the, excuse me, the domain and the range. All right? That's the second type question. All right, let's take a break and do a few of them. Let's go to page 8 in our workbook. Page 8 in our workbook. Go ahead and give it a little bit. Page 8 in our workbook. Let's do a few. Top. Okay. Right here. No, it's a, um, well, right here. 